Hey, 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 what's going on, guys? My name is Zach, and today we're back again into Unity tutorial for 3D Unity 3D. So, for this tutorial, I will show you how you can make the scene which player can collect two items and then they can combine it to become a new item. So, for this tutorial, before you start, you open Unity 3D project and then you import your standard asset. To do that, it's very simple. Click right there and import packages and import your character. And then this will pop up. Right? Actually, I have imported. Uh, so I, if you don't do that, make sure you just right click right there, import package, and click on the character and import all your standard asset so you can get this folder. And then I also prepared my script, but before that, let me show you what you need to do before you get into your script. So first thing you need to create your environment. So right click on your character key, create your environment. For this I just used my uh, plane. Right? And then let's change the color of the plane by creating new material. Let's say this one is black. Okay. And then change the color to black. Drag this material into this plane. And then the next thing is you need to put your player on the plane. So click on standard asset, character, first person character, prefab, FPS controller, drag it into right there. So you can get that one. Uh, so you need to reposition it on the plane. So we just reset. And then click on the plane. Copy this one, component, and paste it right there. So your FPS controller is going to be right there. Okay. Uh, if your plane not big enough, rescale it. Okay, so that's all. Now, you can have a player on the plane. The next thing is, you need to put your uh, weapon or material. So to do that, you need to right click on your cover key, put your cube, let's say. Okay. And then let's name this as Red cube, and then right click on your asset, create new material, red. Copy this one, name this as blue, and then duplicate again, name this as green. I mean, uh, red, blue, yellow, right? Yellow. Duplicate that three, one, two, three. Name this one as orange, and this one as green. Last but not least, name is as purple. Okay, and then for the blue, you need to change your color into blue. Uh, I want this one. And for the green, change the color into green. And for orange, we change it into orange color. Okay, and for purple, we change it into purple. Like that. Not so okay. That's good. This one. Alright. For red, we change it into red. And for the yellow, we change it into yellow okay done so for the red cube we duplicate another three one two three okay so for the red for the, the next cube we rename it as blue cube and red cube we change it as uh, yellow cube. okay so move this one right there okay Cool. Now the next thing is you need to name the tag of each this cube, each of this cube. So for the red cube, you tag, you click on tag right there. I already prepared my tag. If you don't have it, you just add your tag. Right? Let's do it from scratch first. All right? I will remove all this uh, sign of tag. Okay. So let's do it again. So click on red cube. Click on tag, add tag, click on plus sign, add uh, red cube, red, just red, okay, 
and then add another tag for blue and add another tag for yellow right so click again on red cube click on tag just click on red for the blue tag blue and for yellow click tag yellow and then for red cube you drag on your material red for the green uh, for the orange I mean no, no. for yellow click on yellow and for the blue drag in blue so you can have three things right there and you don't have lighting so uh, add your light directional light right so now we have three cube right there okay so the next thing is you need to put your detector on your uh, player so to do that just click on the FPS controller right click create empty name is as the detector right and on your detector click on add component at the sphere collider make sure you enlarge it a little bit so you can see that there is that that you're right there and make sure you put this freeze trigger okay Alright, cool. Okay. So now the next thing is you need to put something on the first person character. So let's say we use this as our first person shooter. So to do that, it's very easy. Uh, click on your player, add your object. If you have your gun model, you can directly drag onto your player, but if you don't, you just you do like this. Okay. All right. Oops. Sorry. Position it in front of your player. Uh, wait. A minute. Okay. Uh, where is it? Okay. Good. There you go. There is our gun. <laughs> Why so big? Let me execute it again. All right. Uh, take it. Take it. Okay, so we have gun right there. Make sure your name is as gun, and then you're gonna duplicate another gun. So duplicate one, two, gun, three gun. Okay, so the next gun we name it as green gun, and for this we name it as purple gun. P U R P G L gun, and the last put it as uh, orange gun gun okay uh, so we have three gun make sure you put your green gun drag your green uh, material put in green purple drag on your purple put your purple gun and yellow gun hey an orange gun put orange right there is it orange whatever you need to change it to the orange yeah, good. So now all set up. Make sure this gun drag uh select all gun right there and drag it on your first person character so that the camera can follow along the gun. Okay. Enough for the setting. We're going to move on our script. So for the script, if you don't have any time to copy paste my script, you can download it in my description below of this YouTube video. So we have two scripts all together with Detector Manager and Value Manager. Let's move on to Detector Manager first. So you can see it's just simple coding. For Detector Manager, we're going to use this coding to make our player detect what they collect or what they hit. So we use this function on trigger, enter, Collider, we declare it the collider name first as call, and then we use if uh, statement. So if the collider or if the collider which is the player hit the yellow uh, tag object, so as you can see, we already put our tag yellow cube as yellow. So if the oh sorry about that, if the player hit yellow cube, it will update something if they. Uh, collide, collided, not collide, I mean collide, alright, if 
they collide with blue, they will update something. If collide with red, they will update something. So what something that will update? Actually, they updating the value of the cube. So that's why we need to script. So the second script is about the value. We start off declaring the static integer value as zero. So the script doesn't, uh, the cube doesn't have, the cube manager doesn't have uh, hold any value. Uh, and uh, until they update. So if the player collide with yellow, they will update the number one and place it into this uh, memory. And then if they collect another item which is blue, they collide and they will they will uh, update the value number three. So one plus three equal to four. So when this value hold number four, they will move on to update function which is Another if, if the value become 4, it will activate the green gun and destroy the default gun, which is a white gun. Right? That will happen what that what will happen if the player will collide with yellow and then collide with blue. If the player collide with blue and collide with uh, and then collide with red, it will update 5 plus 3 equal to 5, 6, 7, 8. And then we're going to this update value if the value is 8. It will update the purple gun, which is activate the purple gun, and then they will destroy the default gun. And if they, if you if you collide with blue, if you collide with yellow and red, it will hold the value five plus one equal to six, and it, the coding will activate the orange gun and deactivate the default gun. So never mind if you don't have time to copy this, you can download it in by description below. Right, just do script. That's all. And then we move on to our script, uh, our scene, and then right click on your hero key, create empty, name this as value manager. All right. So drag in your value manager script right there, so you can see there is some field right that you need to drag. So after you have this one, you need to expand your FPS controller. And FPS and your first person character that you have put the gun in it. So for the gun, default gun, just drag your gun right there, green gun right there, purple gun right there, and the orange gun right there. Okay. So that's it. Next thing is you need to click on your detector and then put your detector manager script into this one. And then that's it. You can play your game. Let's see. So you have a uh, white gun when you collide with. Oh, sorry. Why is this? Why this doesn't have a color? It's a blue cube, right? Yeah, blue. Okay. Okay, so here we go. We have default gun, white gun. When you collide with blue and collide with red, it will update the purple gun. Right, if you collect this one, it doesn't happen. Okay. So if you collect the red gun, uh, the red cube, and the yellow cube, it will become orange. Okay. If you collect your yellow and the red uh, and the blue, and you will produce your green gun. So that's it. You can combine the two material to become a new weapon. You can apply this in many uh, in many games that you want to use. Maybe you, you want to make a game that you can combine uh, wood and rock to become a hammer or I don't know. Use it with your own creativity, but that's all. It's very simple. If you don't get if you do, if you want to uh, get this project, I will also put in by description and if you don't want to Download entire project. You can also just download your script. I will provide it in the description. So that's it, guys. I hope you like it, and that's it. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Good luck.